You're lucky you brought him here just in time. He has lost a lot of blood, but he should be okay for now. You have come all this way from Cape Waterbuck to Ermine County, and you carry Chief Hank until you reach our base to save his life. What an exceptional citizen and brother you are, Cam. Thank you, Commander Cole. It is my duty. The last few weeks have been difficult for us here in Ermine. There have been more and more attacks from the Coates. We just fought a very large callous horde yesterday and lost many valuable men. The weather conditions seem to be getting worse as well. Winter has just arrived and we are already low on some supplies and medical equipment. You are welcome to stay here, Cap. We will keep on trying to survive. But you should know the future for Ermine looks very grim. I understand, Commander Cole. I'll try to help as best as I can. Hank! Brother! Hank, it's so good to see you alive! You carried me all this way. And saved me, brother. I couldn't just leave you there. You are my brother. And now we are even. Aha. Uh -huh. I guess you're right, brother. How do you feel? Everything hurts. You should rest, my brother. You will get better soon, trust me. We still have that fishing trip planned, remember? You bet. Really looking forward to it, brother. Mr. Camp, can we talk? Of course. I am Olivia Healer, senior doctor at Ermine Military Base. We have managed to stop your brother's bleeding. He is doing well for now, but his condition can worsen very quickly if untreated. What do you mean? The bullet hit him between his right kidney and stomach. We have cleaned up the wound as best as we could, but couldn't get the bullet out yet because we don't have the medical supplies for the surgery. It might cause serious infections if we don't get it out as soon as possible. Is there anything I can do, Dr. Olivia? We have many wounded after the Coati attacks, and especially after what happened yesterday. With our low supplies, we eventually won't be able to treat everybody. We need new medical supplies urgently. Is there anywhere where one can find such supplies? There used to be a hospital in the outskirts of Martin City, which is a few kilometers away from here. I don't know what is left of it after many years, but I hope it might have the stuff we need. I might be able to go there and take a look. It's better than staying here and waiting, right? You might save many lives, including your brothers, if you do decide to go. Me and my staff would be very grateful for your help. What's needed, Doc? Let me see. We need clean for sepsis scalpels, retractors, and antiseptic agents for the surgeries. You can find most of these in the surgery department. If there is one, of course. If you happen to find unused syringes and antibiotics, those will come in handy as well. Understood. Where's this hospital located? After you leave the base, follow the road and head northwest. You should reach the hospital eventually. Thank you for helping Hank and others. Lots of lives are counting on you, Mr. Camp. Please be safe.
weather is starting to get really cold. Martin City General Hospital. This is the place.
Mr. Kemp, you have arrived. I got the supplies you need. How's my brother doing? His situation has gotten worse. You might want to see him. Hank! Kemp, you are back. I got everything they need to help you heal Hank. You will make it. Hold on. Listen to me, Kemp. My time is running out soon. Don't say that, Hank. You will survive. I know you will. Don't make this difficult for yourself, Cam. Listen to me. I want to let you know. You are the best brother one could wish for. I am so proud of you, Cam. Hank! When I'm gone, I want you to continue to be kind and honest. In a world like this, everyone needs more kind people. I am sorry for your loss. He was a good man, Mr. Cam. He will be remembered. When it is appropriate to do so, I invite you to have a meeting. We have some new and important information to share. Sit down, please. I have called this meeting to inform you that we gained insight about the man who led Mr. Camp into the trap, Marcus. He is one of the key individuals in the rebellious group, the Coates. As you know, the same group that attacked a mine military base numerous times and captured several military equipment. He has his own set of men, presumably those that ambushed Mr. Camp at the subway station, possibly more. 
Marcus plays an important role. He travels to neighboring cities so that he can get new recruitments for the Colatis. He must have seen the breach of the water block wall as an opportunity for more people to rebel against the military and join their group. Mr. Camp, would you like to add anything in particular? What can I say? Today has been unreal. Marcus and the Coates must be stopped at all costs. Sir, it's another Coati attack. They just attacked the outer perimeter wall and damaged the west gate. Our men are fighting outside as we speak. How many of them are there? We have counted at least 50 people and three vehicles. It's the biggest group we have seen yet, sir. This must be an organized attack. I will order all the troops to take position. We will stand our ground no matter what. Get in position, soldiers, and let's defend our home! Show them 
more we go. Let's oh, get position. It sure is. They even have a conference room. Sir, what do you think will happen if we manage to take over base air mine? It will help the Coatis in this area to finally live in peace. After all the hardship we've endured, we deserve to live in peace, my friends. Oh, I really like the sound of that. So, have we found any supplies? One of the teams found a supply depot. He said it should have enough food and ammunition to last a few weeks. However, they couldn't get a lot of medical supplies. We might need to do a few scavenging runs. We'll think about that when- Wait, I think I saw some. What do you mean? Let me take a look. alarm who would even be here man I don't know well let's get moving then you can stay here and see if you find anything valuable team four should almost be there can we go upstairs from here I don't know we'll see So much useless junk. Hey, who all are? Marcus! I'm gonna get to you, Marcus! Hey, you 
are, Marcus! Cam, we meet once more! You set us up, Marcus! You killed my brother! Arr! People like your brother are constantly hunting people like us, Cam! We mean nothing to them! Just some bandits without any work! Your brother is no different! You are cynical, Marcus! Why not try to cooperate instead of killing innocent people? You were telling me to stop killing innocent people! Take a look at yourself! You killed my men back at the subway station! Those were loyal men! Those men were valuable to me! You gave me no choice, Marcus! Look at what's happening here! We can still stop this nonsense and save other lives! Look, I don't want to harm you! Order your men to retreat! We have a business to finish here. Your brother, he deserved to die, and so do you. Marcus! Soon the military will have no more power. Then we will be the ones to rise up and take over. This will not change anything, Cam. History is being written here today. You can't stop us. Come on. What are you waiting for? Do it! A lot of lives were lost today. So many people. My brother Hank as well. Keeping you alive will just result in more destruction. Northern Dromedary Vault, sir. I can't wait to get there. Are you sure this one won't be breached as well? It is very well protected, sir. I'm glad to hear it, man. <laughs> 